Hello everyone, um, uh, this is my Sony Vegas tutorial on how to do the pulse effect. Um, the final product will be at the end of the video, so if you want to skip ahead now, um, do so and come right back. Um, I I'd show it in a window, but fraps lags my computer. Um, well, not my computer, just the rendering of the video. Um, it might be just be the settings, but I'm not sure. Okay, so first of all, um, I, you want to pick a good spot in your music where the beat goes really fast. <laughs> So see mine, it goes ta ta ta. Um, so you're gonna want it there. First, you want the audio off this video. Well, I do at least. So you drag it down, and then if you just delete it, it'll delete the video and the audio. So what you wanna do? You wanna delete this track, and then you're fine. So I'm gonna control click and drag to make that slow motion. It's not very good slow motion, but I'm just doing it for the sake of um, a longer pulse effect, so you guys know how. Okay, so. Basically, what you want to do, you want to choose a spot in your song that you want, um, play it through, and press M on your keyboard to place a marker every time the beat goes. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I did it a lot. You don't really need that much, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, let me zoom in. Uh, you can zoom in just with your mouse wheel. Um, so what you want to do, you want to split the clip. Every, um, if you click near the marker, it'll snap to it. And then just split the clip every... Oh, my bad. Uh, I didn't split it right on. Um, so split the clip at every marker. Um, I won't do it that much. Let's do it so you guys can see. Mmm... This is a really easy effect, by the way. All it uses is pan crop. Okay, so I'm good. And then, oh, um, and scroll to the first one, and click event pan crop, and then go to your beginning. You'll see this little thing in the beginning. Change it to whatever you want. I'll do it about there, there. Okay, and then go to the end. It's just keyframing. It's super simple. It's auto. Go to the end. And then make it the original size. Okay. And then press X. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My mom was yelling at me. Um, okay, so what you do, you do that. And then instead of going single-handedly doing it every single video, just right-click, copy, zoom out, press Shift on your keyboard, select the last clip. It'll highlight all of them. And just left-click on anyone, paste event attributes, and then you'll see all of these have pan crop on them. And then if you preview it, I'm going to do it the worst quality. Um, and then you see it, it pulses every single time I want it to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole tutorial. It's that easy. And then that's all you need. Yeah. So I hope you guys like my pulse tutorial. A couple of my friends wanted me to post it. Um, okay.